What's going on? Chill with Dan Squad. It's your boy Ant back with you guys with another video. And tonight we got we have to talk about uh what took place tonight on Monday Night Raw. This Raw tonight in Chicago, this was even the build up to WrestleMania took it to a whole different level. So enough with the chit chat. Let's get down to the nitty nitty gritty, shall we? So we start the show. With Cody Rhodes coming out, coming out there as always, especially talking about how he plans on winning the the championship from Roman uh, this year's WrestleMania, and the fact how Roman had thought he he set Cody on a trap when they had their face off this past Friday on SmackDown, thinking that the bloodline line was going to jump Cody, but that that backfired on him and then he told me he told uh how he almost had the championship won last year at wrestlemania and the fact of the matter is he told roman reigns i hate your guts like the fact of the matter is and this one uh, line he said was really dope i act like the champion because the champion isn't here Basically shooting some shots again at Roman, cause Roman hasn't been been on the show that that pretty that pretty much. And the fact of the matter is, he's going to do whatever he can to make sure that he leaves WrestleMania as the champion. And most likely, cause the way how they're building this up to rest the build up to WrestleMania is really legit, top notch. And the fact of the matter is, the Chicago crowd tonight they was. It was it was crazy, and as soon as uh, Cody p pointed at the WrestleMania sign, and he was about to talk about how, well how he plans on finishing the story, The Rock's music hit. Excuse me, and the crowd goes insane. Like the fact this man, The Rock, pulled came to Raw, and most likely had a face to face with Cody. Cody, their face up, that face up was so crazy. Like they had to like, the crowd was chanting "Holy shit, chance!" Because you know for a fact WWE had to like beat, uh, bleep them out, out. And the crowd was chanting "Rocky." Some were chanting Cody, and then The Rock puts his hands behind his knees. He walks over to Cody and tells him, "Tonight." He didn't. He didn't say it out loud. He whispered to him and he told him. Tonight, I'm going to make you bleed. And he just walks out, out the ring. When, when I, when he said that, I, cause you, cause he said that he was going to make him bleed. And you know, for a fact, if the rock was going to be on SmackDown, uh, no nah, SmackDown on raw, you know, for a fact, who's going to be there. The other members of the bloodline and that was a really crazy way to start the show, cause I'm gonna get to that, to that, and to the nitty gritty later. But then there was this backstage segment where the Miz and our truth were just having a conversation. But if you peep in the back, back, you see Drew McIntyre having a conversation with Paul Heyman. That that's really in interesting, cause this build up, I kid you not. This is getting some Avengers and Endgame type shit. If you get if you get my drift, but of the fact of the matter is, Drew McIntyre is aligning him himself with a crew who he despises so much, and most likely the same group that screwed him out of the championship uh, all these years is personally trying to help help them out. Cause I do see that Drew McIntyre is going to get involved and cost Cody and Seth the tag match at night one. Because this man Drew just doesn't care about the blood bloodline still because the only thing that he only he's focusing on is winning the world championship. And I already tell from from a true fact, this man Drew, he's definitely going to win win the world championship in front of a light crowd that he should have won back in 2020 because of the of the pandemic. But you know for a fact, this year's WrestleMania in Philadelphia is going to be crazy. And 
and what's that I know for a fact that some shenanigans was going to happen later on in the show. So then we get to uh the next segment, which CM Punk makes his final makes his uh return to his hometown in Chicago, and then letting him know that he's going to be at WrestleMania somehow, and that he's going to do something that he never never done before. But that see, here's the thing. With that, I definitely see CM Punk getting involved involved in this. Cause if Drew is gonna be gonna gonna help uh the Bloodline win the tag match against uh against Cody and Seth, you know for a fact he's definitely gonna get in the world world title match at night too. If you really really think about it, and throwing CM Punk into the mix, they got so many ways that they can play this out. They really do. Then CM, then Drew McIntyre comes out, and then CM Punk's like, "You're standing o- over there, get you, bring your bitch ass in the in the ring," and Drew McIntyre being so disrespectful at how it is, where he has the shirt "The Savior of WrestleMania," and he takes off another another shirt where it says, "Here lies CM Punk's hopes and dreams" with a berry on it. That that shit was crazy though, and then he's telling him how. You were this type of superstar. You were straight edge, but yet you went straight to rehab. That was really, really cold. And he mocks CM Punk by sitting in the commentary table. Look, like, yo, this man, how they're doing doing Drew at this point is re- really good. And then Seth Rollins comes out and lets CM, and Seth may, let CM Punk know, and he made it perfectly clear with him, stay out of my, my way. And CM Punk made it perfectly clear he's going to be in commentary at WrestleMania. And I'm going to do do something that y'all going to definitely remember WrestleMania. CM Punk walks out the ring. And then Drew McIntyre, Drew McIntyre cuts CM Punk's mu- music off. That he's not getting the last lap. And then Seth Rollins super kicks him. And hits him with, with the stomp. Then we get the next. We get to the close of the of the show. Jey Uso versus Shinsuke Nakamura. Great, great match. If you know Jey Uso's having a match, you know for a fact some shenanigans was going to happen. And boy, oh boy, did it ever. Of the fact when Jay thought he had it in the bag, Jimmy and Solo come coming out through the through the crowd, Seth Rollins comes out and attacks both Jimmy, Jimmy and Solo, and then Drew come and get his get back on Seth for what happened earlier on in the show. And then everybody's all wiped out. Cody get gets involved as well, attacking both Jimmy and Solo, knocking him uh, out of the the arena. Then Jey Uso took the advantage, hits uh, Shinsuke with the spear. One, two, three. Jay wins, and then we cut it to. Uh, Backstage, where Cody is beating the living daylights out of Jimmy, knocking, kicking Jimmy uh, out of the arena. Then Solo, when he was focusing on Solo, The Rock comes from, attacks him from behind, and he was, and he, yo, this man, The Rock was talk, talking his trash, beating the living daylights out of Cody, hitting him with trash cans, all these, uh, these tools, and most like. Likely hitting him in the trash can so much he made him bleed. He took him, takes him out outside of the parking lot, right in front of his own tour bus, and beats the living daylights out of him. And he's talking whole lots of lots of shit, telling him that he's the final final boss. And this man, The Rock, oh my God, what this man did is probably one of the most disrespectful things I have ever seen. This this man ever did. And when he was beating the daylights out of Co- Cody, he take he brings out he takes off the weight belt and it has and it says Mama Rhodes on it like yo and the crowd were selling selling this and the fact of the matter is he was he made Cody bleed to the point of. He 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 didn't make him bleed, and then he takes the weight belt off, takes Cody's blood, 
it wipes his blood on the weight belt. And then telling Cody that you don't know what hard hard times like. Your daddy does, doesn't know anything about hard times. And he was talking all types of nonsense. They had to like uh, mute some parts out because he was cursing so much. Because you know when it comes to The Rock, when it comes to him cur- cursing, you know for a fact he could get away with it. Because it's The Rock. Come on. But he beat the living daylights out of him, sending a message to all the Cody Crybabies himself. Even Mama wrote his own mom. Oh, nah, bro. And that's when Cody Rhodes laid out help, helpless, looking at the ca- camera and telling him that it didn't, it haven't meant to be this way, but it had to be be this way. The prophecy kicked in, and look what happened. And boy, oh boy, this, this, this Monday Night Raw tonight, it it was a really must must watch. Because if you thought tonight was crazy, next Monday on the final Raw before WrestleMania, if I'm Cody, there's no there's no more talking. There's no more talking. Because I know for a fact, next week, because they're going to be in Brooklyn, I know they're going to show that video package of Cody getting beat the brakes off of him. If I'm Cody, I, he's definitely going to be, Cody needs to go go to that place because it's up and stuck now because this man has disrespected you for the past few weeks, disrespected your your. Your, your family, your dad, your mom, and I know for a fact, and I know some of y'all can can agree on this, and I know this is, The Rock is definitely going to do this. He is definitely going to post on his Instagram, and he's going to mention his wife and kids. I definitely see that happening, and I definitely see that is definitely going to have Cody finally snap. Because I know for a fact, Rock and Roman next week, they're going to be on Raw in Brooklyn. And if I'm Cody, if there's no more talking, cause I'm go- I'm going to that place, cause y'all are really done fucked up now, y'all are really legit fucked up now. Like you pushed me too far, and you really done fucked up now, cause if this hasn't got you hyped for WrestleMania, I don't even know what to tell you. To be honest, I'm just keeping it a whole buck with y'all. Because you know, next Monday, it's definitely must-see. It's must-see. Because a brawl, need, a brawl needs, needs to take place next week. Because if you're going to close, go to WrestleMania on the final week before it, no more talking, straight hands. Period. But this Raw tonight, this one was really dope. Chicago tonight, y'all did y'all thing, man. But comment down below. Let me know what you, you think Cody should do in this type of situation. Because for me personally, if I'm Cody, there's no more talking. It's on site. And when I catch you, I'm putting all y'all in a pack. No question about it. But I appreciate the time. I love y'all so so much. Roll to 1K. It's up and stuck. Appreciate y'all chilling with me. Catch y'all in the next video. Peace.